Hey everybody, I have got a traveler typewriter for you today. This is an Olympia SF. It's a 1966. You can see how thin it is. So it's got the pearl white exterior with the gray accents and the turquoise accents. This does have some wear to it. There's some little chips right here and a few right here and you can just see a little bit of wear, but overall it looks really good. This is gonna be excellent to take with you to the coffee shop um, or your cafe or you have a favorite um, spot on your nature trail that you wanna go right with or you're traveling across the country. This guy is perfect for that. So uh, one note there, the caps lock does not work on this one. Um, or maybe it does. Oh, I have the carriage lock. There we go. So, and, um, but we'll go over that as we type. Okay. Right now this carriage is locked. And so you unlock the carriage with this lever right here and you push it back. And then this is your carriage release. You pull it up. Cute little bell. All right. So that's where it is. Um, to set your margins, they're way back here. And so you just push and drag and this red indicator tells you where your margins are, okay? So we can do that again there. So cute. Okay, let's go ahead and then um, paper release, line selector, one and two. And let's move, oh, by the way, your handle folds down. Oops, so there you go. Before you put it, the case is real thin, it's a zipper case. So you fold the handle down before you store it and then you pop it up to, to use it, okay? Let's open up the top. And inside you'll see we have a universal ribbon in there. And uh, the universal ribbon is held in there by two spring-loaded arms. And actually, here's the lever for them. Pop, pop. Okay, so when you wanna take one out, you just pop it open and then bring it out, put it back in. Okay, and then make sure it's loaded properly. So like I just, oh, Fiddlesticks, okay. So you just gotta load the ribbon in the uh, guide wires and I'm gonna get ink all over my hands. Okay. There we go. I got ink all over me. Okay, so when you do change it out, make sure it's loaded in this guide wire, this guide wire, and then here. And we do have a photo of this if you visit the product link in the description so you can see how to load your ribbon. Make sure red is on top, uh, no, sorry, black is on top and red is on bottom. Also, um, when you get to the end of your ribbon, uh, you have to manually reverse the direction. And you do that by, it doesn't matter which side, you just press, okay? And that's how you manually reverse the ribbon. And you should be able to reverse your ribbon many times before you need to change it. So, uh, because when you get to the end of the spool, it's not the end of the ink. All right, let's go ahead and put this back on. I am um, struggling with videos today because it's such a beautiful day. I would rather be outside than doing videos keep looking at my amazing view. Okay, that's on there. Okay, let's go ahead and load some paper. I'm sure you all have had days like that. And let's do some typing. All right, set it there, bring it around. Goes underneath that bar. And gotta straighten it out just a little here. There we go. And let me check my margins. Oh, I wanna bring my margins in a little bit. Oh, let's go to here. Okay. So this is a 1966. Oh, this feels really good. Oh yeah, remember it's cursive. Uh, Olympia SF, um, or I like to call it the Traveler. 
Oh, you guys, this type's so nice. I love it. Uh, by the way, here's your color selector. So it's on red right now. We'll switch, oh yeah, no caps lock. So I'll just hold it down while I go across. Oops. And let's switch it to black. And I'm gonna test out my backspace. Always make sure the backspace works. Wow, the keys feel amazing. I think this one doesn't like to type too fast. All right, let's do some sentences. Oh, cute little bell. It's gonna, now I'm gonna type this in all caps and so it'll look really funky, but. I just do this so you can see all the letters. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, now it's gonna lock on me because I've hit the margin. This is your margin release. Oh, you know what? Even the all cap still looks nice. Wow, that's so pretty. Yeah, this one doesn't like to type too fast. And I need to reverse the direction. The reason I knew I needed to reverse the direction is I could see the um, ribbon getting really tight and it wasn't um, releasing at all. And so I just tapped it, reversed the direction and immediately the tension went down. this bell okay so I love this typewriter here's a few notes typer <laughs> love this typer gosh this is gorgeous so it feels amazing let me just say oh that's equal there we go feels amazing um caps lock doesn't work and then the other thing is it um it likes slow and steady typing so when i was starting to go fast it didn't like that that's when the keys and you just pop them down it's not a big deal but if you're a super fast typist that will become irritating to you so if you are uh, a, a ruminating uh, or you like to ruminate and you're a slow and steady and methodical typer you will really like this typewriter and if you like this typewriter anyway you're just gonna have to be slow and methodical as you type because the cursive font's gorgeous I love the feel of the keys and the typing, the typing action, great bounce back, nice and solid. It's really typing in, as far as performance, it's excellent, give it an A. There is signs of wear on the actual typewriter itself, not too bad, but you can look at the up close images on the product listing link. So this is still overall gonna be a great typewriter. I hope somebody with an adventurous spirit gets it and takes it on lots of adventures. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.